Hi everyone, this is discussion of question SPMRSM 2022 paper 1. Okay, question number 1, diagram 1 shows part of a curve. The variable x and y are related by the equation y squared equals to p over 2x plus q such that p and q are constant. Okay, so then uh, A, find the value of p and of q. Okay, from the question given uh, equation y squared equals to p over 2x plus q. Okay, so now given point x uh, negative 11 and point y is 4. So, we substitute into the equation. Sebab dekat sini given x and y exist. Eh? So, point negative 11, 4 into the equation. So, 4 squared equals to p over 2 times negative 11 plus q. Okay, kita simplify. Kita dapat 4 kuasa 2 is 16 times 2. Ini tu kita simplify ni darab dengan 2. So, uh, 32 equals to negative 11p plus 2q. Okay, so then another equation. Uh, no, sorry, another point. Negative 52. Negative 52 into the equation. So, 2 squared equals to p over 2. Negative 5 plus q. Okay, so sama kita times 2. So, kita dapat 2 squared 4, 4 times 2, 8 equals to negative 5p plus 2q. So, this is equation number 2. Okay, so then uh, we have two equation with two unknowns, two variables. So, kita boleh solve uh, simultaneously lah. Okay, mungkin kita boleh guna elimination method ni, eh? 1 minus 2. Okay, so 32 minus 8, 24, negative 11p minus negative 5p. So, tambah eh, negative 11 plus 5 is negative 6p. 2q minus 2q habis. Okay, so then we get p equals to negative 4. Okay, so kita boleh masuk uh, into any equation 1 or into uh, 2, katakanlah into 1. Eh? Into 1. So, then here 32 equals to negative 11 times negative 4 plus 2q. So, uh, 2q equals to 32 minus uh, 44 negative 12. Bah, negative 12. So, q equals to negative 12 bahagi 2 is negative 6. Okay. So, kita dapatlah p equals to negative 4. Q equals to negative 6. Okay, next question B. Hence, sketch the linear graph of y squared against x. Okay, so for question B, uh, we need to substitute the value of P and Q into the equation. Eh? Tadi kita ada y squared equals to uh, P over 2. So, negative 4 over 2x minus 6. Okay, so kita simplify dapat y squared plus negative 2x minus 6. Okay, kita tahu yang the big Y is Y squared, big X is X. So, dekat sini gradient is 2 dengan, sorry, gradient is negative 2 dengan intercept is negative uh, 6. Okay, so kita boleh carilah dekat situ dia punya uh, Y intercept negative 6. Uh, nak cari X intercept, Y0 eh. So, Y0 or Y squared 0 lah. So, kita dapat 0 equals to negative 2x minus 6. So, x equals to uh, negative 3. Okay. So, then kita boleh sketch graph. Okay. Walaupun sketch, kena guna pembaris. Eh? Okay. Uh, macam ni. <coughs> so, x, this one, y squared. Okay. x intercept negative 3. y intercept negative 6. Uh, so, macam ni lah. Okay, so this one negative 3, negative 6. Okay, next question number 2. It is given that 2 alpha and 2 beta are the roots of the quadratic equation x squared plus mx minus 3 equal to 0. Okay, A is find the value of m if alpha plus beta equals to negative 2. Okay, so from the equation x squared plus mx minus 3 equal to 0 ni, Okay, kita tahu roots dia given is 2 alpha dengan 2 beta. Okay, so dia suruh cari the value of alpha plus beta. Okay, so since of cerita pasal roots, kita boleh gunalah uh, formula SOR dengan POR. Okay, sum of roots SOR is negative B over A. 
P O R E C over A. Okey, kalau dekat sini kita boleh cari S O R first. So S O R 2 alpha plus 2 beta lah. Okay, so we can factorize 2 alpha plus beta. Okay, alpha plus beta given is negative 2 from the question. Okay, so kita dapat negative 4. Okay, but just now kita tahu SOR is negative B over A. So, kita samakan lah dengan yang ni. Uh, so, uh, B dia is M. So, negative M over 1. So, kita dapat lah M equals to uh, 4. Okay, to B hence form a quadratic equation with roots uh, alpha and beta. Okay, so... Tadi kita tak habis lagi kan. Kita ada baru cari SOR. So, kita boleh cari POR lah. So, POR equals to 2 alpha times 2 beta. Okay. So, um, equals to uh, C over A. Okay. C is negative 3. A is 1. So, kita dapatlah 4 alpha beta equals to negative 3 over uh, 1. Oh, negative 3 je lah kan. Okay. So, then alpha beta... Equals to negative 3 over 4. Okay, so then kita kena form equation baru yang roots dia alpha dengan beta. Ha, eh? So, uh, general uh, equation untuk kuadratik, nak form kuadratik equation ni ialah x squared minus sorx plus por equals to 0. Okay, ini untuk roots alpha dengan beta lah. Okay, so then kita dah tahu tadi. Uh, uh, alpha plus beta is uh, SORD is negative 2 PORD yang ni lah uh, eh. so kita just substitute so x squared minus negative 2x plus negative 3 over 4 ok equals to 0 so then uh, finally kita dapat quadratic equation x squared plus sorry 2x minus Uh, 3 over 4 equals to 0 ok, tapi ni kalau nak nak uh, darab dengan 4 pun boleh jugalah this, this one pun dah ok, tapi kalau nak darab dengan 4 boleh juga dapat x squared plus 8x minus 3 equals to 0 ok, question number 3, diagram 2 shows the graph of y equals to fx and x equals to gy a, determine which group represent a function and state your reason. Okay, so sekarang kalau kita dah belajar masa form 4 dulu, kita tahu kalau function ni yang ada uh, type of relation dia ialah 1 to 1 dengan many to 1. Okay, so uh, jadi kat sini yang uh, y sama dengan fx lah, yang ni 1 to 1 relation eh. Yang gy ni is um, kat sini kan eh, kita ada um one to many relation uh, kita ada satu objek many images uh, so yang ni bukanlah uh, ni bukan relation okey so jawapan dia ialah function uh, y sama dengan fx uh, because uh, because uh, one sorry because one to one one to one relation Okay, then question B, hand state the domain, the range and the function notation. Okay, so uh, to find the domain, domain ni actually uh, values of x lah. Dekat sini kosong sampai 5. Okay, since of this is continuous graph, jadi kita kena buat dalam bentuk range. Okay, so x more equals than 0, less or equals than 5. Okay, sama juga untuk y, untuk fx, dia punya range. Okay, range dia yang sini lah daripada negative 4 sampai 6. So, fx more equals than negative 4 but less or equals than 6. Okay. So, 3 eh, kita nak cari uh, function notation. Okay, function notation, kita tahu this is straight line. So, straight line y equals to mx plus c lah. General form dia kan. So, kita kena cari uh, gradient dia. Okay, gradient dia kita kena cari dulu. Okay, now we have 0, negative 4 dengan 2, 0. 
Ha, eh. So kita boleh cari gradient dia So kita guna macam ni ni So negative 4 minus 0 0 minus 2 So dapat M is 2 Okay boleh juga guna formula Negative Y intercept bahagi X intercept eh, Untuk cari gradient Tapi saya guna cara ni lah Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1 Okay so daripada graf Kita dah nampak dia punya intercept is Negative 4 So kita teruslah dapat equation dia So y equals 2 to x minus 4 Okay question number 4 Given the function of gx Okay equals to 5 plus 2x over 3 And gfx equals to 2 over x minus 1 Okay so dia suruh cari uh, function f3 Okay, before find uh, F3, kita kena carilah Fx dulu kan. So, kita kena cari uh, function F dulu. So, now from Gx equal to 5 plus 2x over 3 ni, kita boleh cari Gf. So, equals to 5 plus 2f over 3. Okay, so ni Gf, ni pun Gf. So, kita samakan. So, 2 over x minus 1. So, kita dapat kat sini 5 plus 2x equals 2 all times 3, 6 over x minus 3. So, 2f equals 2, 6 over x uh, minus 3 minus 5, so negative 8. So, dapatlah f equals 2, 6 over 2x minus 8 over 2 which is fx lah ni. f sama dengan 3 over x minus 4. Okay, dia nak F3. Okay, so kita substitute X equals to 3. So, 3 over 3 minus 4. So, equals to negative 3. Number 4B, it is given that D inverse function H inverse X equals to 4 X minus 7. B1, find HX. So, kita nak cari HX, kita inversekan inverse function. Okay, so... Uh, the first one, uh, let lah. Let 4x minus 7 equals to y. 4x equals to y plus 7. So, x, y plus 7 over 4. Okay, so ni lah kita punya hx. Equals to, kita tukar y jadi x. Okay. Now, be Roman 2. Um... Hence, okay, hence, ada hence, eh, express P in terms of K if H inverse H, K plus 5 equals to HP. Okay, so, the second one, dia bagi macam ni, H inverse H, K plus 5 equals to HP. Okay, ni H inverse H is satu, eh, so, ni kita dapat ni lah, K plus 5 equals to, so, dia ni HP. So, kalau HX, X plus 7 kalau HP, P plus 7 over 4. Okay, dia nak um, dia nak P. Uh, P in terms of K. So, kita simplify lah. Become for K plus 20 equals to P plus 7. So, P equals to for K plus 20 minus 7. Okay, so kita dapat P equals to for K plus 13. Number 5A, given that log uh, A base 10 less than 0, state the range of values of A. Okay, untuk soalan ni, uh, kita kena tahulah dia kita nak cari kalau log yang negatif. A ni mesti less than 1, okay. So, A mesti less than 1. Okay, tapi kita tahu juga A ni tak boleh negatif. Uh, so, mesti more than 0. Okay, macam tu je, eh? satu maka. Kalau tak faham yang ni, kita kena cuba-cuba masukkan nilai. Eh, daripada calculator. Okay, B, given that A equals to 7 power of X and B equals to 7 power of Y, simplify uh, 49 power of X plus Y plus 7 power of X minus Y in terms of A and B. Okay, so now the base uh, are different, so kita uniformkan, so become 7 squared, kita tahu uh, 49 is 7 squared, so this one sama lah. Okay, then we open the bracket become 7 power of 2x plus 2y plus 7 power of x minus y. Okay, by using loss of indices, we will get 7 power of 2x uh, tambah jadi darab eh. 7 power of 2y. 
Okay, yang ni uh, tolak jadi bahagi 7 power of X Bahagi 7 power of Y Okay, so this one uh, Now uh, from the question kita tahu ada 7 power of X, 7 power of Y So, ni 7 power of, sorry Ni jadi 7 power of X squared This one become 7 power of Y squared Plus this one 7X, 7Y uh, So, kita masukkan je lah so, this one A squared, B squared plus 7X is A over B. Number 6, um, the population of bacteria A grows accordingly to the function A n equals to 200 E power of n. And the population of bacteria B grows according to the function B n equals to 20 E power of n plus 1. Such that, N is a number of days. <clears throat> okay, so A find the total population of bacteria A on the second year. Okay, so A uh, bacteria A. So A N equals to 200 E power of N. So, dia kata um, second day. Okay, so uh, substitute E power of 2. So, kita dapat 1477.2. 8, 1. Okay, B. Uh, after how many days the total population of both bacteria will exceed 800,000. Okay, both eh? Both bacteria. So, ni lah dua-dua total dia. So, 200 e power of n plus 20 e power of n plus 1 more than 800. Okay. So, kita boleh simplify. Okay, kita boleh simplify ni all divided by 20. Kita akan ni bahagi 20. Eh? So, uh, 200 divided by 20 is uh, 10 e power of n. So, 20 divided by 20 e power n plus 1. So, more than 40, 100. Okay. So, then kita uh, simplify lah. Okay, so this one kita boleh factorize. Uh, sebelum tu kita pecahkan eh. So, 10 e power of n plus e power of n times e power of n. Uh, e power of 1. So, 40,000. So, we factorize e power of n. So, now 10 plus e power of n. So, more than 40,000. Okay, so kita selesaikanlah E power of N more than 40,000 divided by 10 plus E power of 1. Okay, yang ni kita guna calculator je lah. Kita dapat E power of N more than uh, 3145.08. Okay, so now we are going to find the value of N. So kita kena lonkan both sides. Sebab kita tahu lon, lon actually log base E eh. Uh, so, ln kan both side, ln e power of n, ln 3145.08, barulah kita boleh turunkan n ni kan, n ln e, more than ln 3145.08. Okay, ln e is 1. Okay, so kita dapatlah uh, n more than, uh, ni kita guna calculator je, 8. 0.0536 So N is a uh, number of days So kita dapatlah N equals to Sorry Yang ni N kena nombor uh, Whole number eh So N equals to 9 7A according to a study of an express delivery system service 2% of the packages mailed through a company Do not arrive at their destination within the specific time State the type of random variable involved and give your justification. Okay, random variable. A type of random variable. Okay, for your information, there are two types of random variable. Discrete dengan continuous. Discrete ni kalau dia uh, countable. Kalau continuous tu uncountable. Eh, jadi sekarang ni kita ada uh, packages kan. Uh, so, packages ni mestilah whole number. Uh, so, dia countable. So, uh, type of random variable dia ialah discrete. Eh? So, discrete. Okay, agent discrete pun kena betul. Dia kata, uh, give your justification. Uh, cakaplah Because uh, packages are countable. 
seven B in a jewelry store. Two out of seven customers bought jewelry on a certain day. If ten customers from the store are selected at random on that day, find the probability that exactly four out of them bought jewelry. Okay, so sekarang ni cerita pasal customer kan. Okay, so and find the probability. So maybe this one we can use um, binomial. Okay, so x equals to r and c r p power of r q power of n minus r. So first of all, we need to identify the probability, the probability of success, probability of failure and uh, the value of n. So dekat sini dia kata 2 out of 7. So maksudnya p dia 2 over uh, 2 over 7. Okay. So, probability orang yang uh, buat jewelry lah. So, then Q is 1 minus 2 over 7. 5 over 7. So, now N dia kata 10. So, X is 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Eh? Okay, so uh, the first one is exactly 4. So, maksudnya PX equals to 4. So, uh, tadi NCR, so 10C4, 2 over 7 power of 4, 5 over 7 power of 10 minus 4 is 6. So, the answer will be 0 0.1859. Next, B Roman 2. At most, two or not find probability, at most, two out of them did not buy jewellery. Eh? So, perkataan they did not buy jewellery. Tadi yang A, buy jewellery. Yang this one, did not buy. So, the P actually yang did not buy lah, which is 5 over 7 and Q is 2 over 7. Ha, terbalik eh. Okay, dia nak at most 2. Okay, at most 2 maksudnya uh, less or equals than 2. Okay, so P X less or equals than 2. Maksudnya dekat sini kamu ada berapa? Less or equals than 2. 0, 1, 2 lah. Okay, so P X equals to 0 plus P X equals to 1 plus P X equals to 2. Okay, so kita masukkan 10 C 0. P sekarang 5 over 7 eh. Power of 0. 2 over 7 power of 10. Okay, plus 10 C 1. 5 over 7 power of 1, 2 over 7 power of 9. Okay, and uh, plus 10 C2, 5 over 7 power of 2, 2 over 7 power of 8. Okay, so then by using calculator, kita akan dapatlah. The answer is 0 0.0011. 1,4 Okay, tolong eh dalam exam dia tak boleh terima eh Kalau kamu daripada kalkulator tu kamu dapat 1.114 times 10 to the power of negative 3 Ah Ni tak boleh Okay So, kena bagi 0.001114 Okay, number 10A, a school mathematics quiz competition team consists of 15 participants These participants are to be chosen from 8 boys and 10 girls okay not 15 okay calculate the number of different ways the team can be formed if at least eight girls are chosen so at least eight girls chosen eh ah uh, dia nak team so kita guna c lah kita guna combination okay so at least eight maksudnya eight girls or nine girls Okay, or 10 girls. Okay, kalau 8 girls kena ada 7 boy. Kalau 9 girls kena ada 6 boys. Kalau 10 girls ada another 7, sorry, another 5 boys. Okay, so ni kita carilah uh, girls uh, from 10 nak 8. So, 10 C8 times 8 C7. Or ni plus 10 C9 times 8C6, 10C10 10 times 8C5, okay. Then, by using calculator, kita dapat 6, 9, 6. Ways. 8B, there are 7 pearls and 6 bits of different colors are to be arranged using different ways. 
All the pearls are arranged in a circle to make a bracelet as an example shown in the diagram 3A. While only four beads are arranged on a hair clip as an example shown in diagram 3B. Okay, so uh, are the number of different ways to arrange the pearls on the bracelet is equal to the number of different ways to arrange the beads on the hair clip. Verify your answer with calculation. Okay, first of all, you have to identify. Uh, we need to use permutation or combination. Okay, since of the kata uh, arrange, uh, a few times the kata arrange, so kita kena guna permutation lah. Okay, so permutation pun, this one ada bracelet in a circle, then hair clip in a row. Uh, so kena, kena tahu lah. Okay, the, uh, yang pearls, seven pearls, uh, jadi kita, semua, semua kita kena arrange semua. So, therefore, formula D N minus 1 factorial over 2, kan? Okay, so, for pearls, uh, 7 minus 1 factorial over 2. Okay, so, kita dapat this one, 3, 6, 0 ways. Okay, untuk yang beads, okay, uh, beads ni dekat uh, hair clip in a row. Tapi, dia nak 4 sahaja. So, this one, 6P, Four, okay, equals to 360 as well. Okay, so they, uh, tadi dia tanya, ah, the number of different ways to um, same, equal or not. Uh, so, therefore, yes lah. Eh? So, jawapan dia yes, same. So, therefore, yes. 9A, diagram 4 shows a straight line PQ. It is given that unit vector in the direction of vector PQ is KI plus 2J over Z29. The first one, find the value of N. Okay, this is the value of N dekat sini. So, uh, from the question, dia bagi unit vector. Uh, kita kena tahulah this one is the vector over the magnitude. Hmm, okay, so at first, kita kena carilah vector PQ. Okay, from the diagram, given the coordinate P is negative 3, 8. So, we can find the uh, the position vector OP equals to negative 3, 8. Okay, I write as column vector. Eh? So, Q, okay, coordinate Q um, and then, so vector OQ is N, 10. Okay, then kita boleh carilah the vector of PQ. By using triangle law, PQ is PO plus OQ. Okay, PO, kita ada OP nak cari PO. So, opposite direction, negative kan eh. So, negative kan. So, 3, negative 8 plus N, 10. So, simplify 3 plus N and uh, 2. Okay. So, then uh, just now... Uh, the magnitude is 29. Eh? So, we can find uh, magnitude for this vector by using Pythagoras theorem. So, 3 plus n squared plus 2 squared square root equals to 29. So, we can eliminate both sides by uh, squared both sides. Eh? Okay. Then, uh, boleh cari lah. Eh? So, n, sorry, 3... Plus n squared plus 4 equals to 29. So, 3 plus n equals to squared equals to 25. So, 3 plus n equals to plus minus 5. Eh? So, n equals to 5 minus 3 is 2. Negative 5 minus 3 is negative 8. Okay, tetapi just now, n kita tu tadi dekat sini. Ha, dekat sini. So, mesti ambil yang positif lah. Eh? So, therefore, n equals to 2. Okay, so the next question, hence, eh, hence uh, express OQ in the form of column vector. Uh, eh, tadi kita dah buat pun dalam column vector kan. So, dia nak OQ. OQ. Okay, just now ni tadi kita punya column vector. Eh? So, 2, 10. Question 9B, diagram 5, shows a quadrilateral KLMN. Proof the vector LM is parallel to vector KN. 
Okay, so to prove two vectors are parallel, kita kena letak constant between the two vectors. Okay, so Kn. Kn equals to, let's say alpha, Lm. Okay, kita boleh letak any constant lah kat situ kecuali tak boleh letak lambda. Eh? So then uh, by using polygon law, so Kn is Kl. Plus LM plus MN equals to alpha LM. Okay, so then we substitute the vectors. So KL is 3A plus LM A plus B. Okay, MN ni uh, opposite direction. So negative eh. Lambda 5A minus, sorry, plus B. Equals to alpha LM. Sorry, LM kita substitute eh. LM is A plus B. Okay, so the rest we just simplify. This one become uh, 4A min plus B minus 5 lamba lambda A minus lambda B. Equals to alpha A plus alpha B. Okay, so we group together, so A dengan A, so 4 minus 5 lambda plus B, 1 minus lambda, equals to alpha A plus alpha B. Okay, so then we can compare, okay, for vector A, so 4 minus 5 lambda equals to alpha. For vector B, 1 minus lambda equals to alpha as well. Eh? So, ni equation 1, ni equation 2. So, 1 equals to 2. Tak kisahlah you, bo you boleh guna simultaneous uh, equation, elimination method or substitution method. So, in this situation, I use uh, substitution method. Eh? So, 1 equals to 2. 4 minus 5 lambda equals to 1 minus lambda. So, then 3 equals to 4 lambda. So, then lambda equals to 3 over 4. So, uh, then uh, substitute into let's say equation 2. Okay, kita boleh dapat um, alpha equals to 1 minus 3 over 4. Okay, so then dapatlah alpha equals to 1 over 4. Okay, so kita dah dapat alpha 1 over 4. They so prove the two vectors are uh, parallel. So, therefore, just now tadi kita ada ni kan. Yeah. Kn equals to uh, alpha Lm. So, masukkanlah. So, therefore, Kn equals to 1 over 4 uh, Lm. Hmm. So, proven. Number 10A, it is given that sine alpha equals negative 3 over 5 and tangent beta equals to 2 such that angle alpha and beta are in the same quadrant. If cos alpha minus beta equals to m set 5 over 5, find the value of m. Okay, so now given uh, sine negative, tangent positive. So now we have um, quadrant 1, 2, 3, 4, right? Add sugar to coffee. So we need to identify uh, where the position of sign negative and tangent positive. So here we got quadrant 3. So quadrant 3. So first of all, we need to uh, sketch the position of um, right angle, triangle for these two angles. Okay, sign alpha, quadrant 3 eh? So, macam ni lah lebih kurang. Okay, so here is alpha sin so he as OH. Opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite is 3, hypotenuse is 5. By using Pythagoras theorem, this one is 4. Okay, so 4, sorry. Okay, so then for uh, triangle, the second triangle, same quadrant 3. But we have angle... Beta tangent toa. Okay, opposite is 2. Adjacent actually uh, over 1. 2 over 1. So, adjacent is 1. 
Okay, same by using the Pythagoras theorem, we have the uh, hypotenuse is 5. 2 squared plus 1 squared square root, so 5. Square root 5, set 5, eh? Okay, so kita ada cos alpha minus beta by using um, compound angle formula or addition formula. Kita tengok list of formula, eh? So, cos alpha, cos beta. So, this one plus sin alpha, sin beta. Okay. Kena refer list of formula lah. Okay. So, cos alpha. Cos alpha dulu yang ni eh. Cos ialah cha. So, this one in quadrant 3. So, negative 4 over 5. Okay. Cos beta, mm, negative, same negative 1 over third 5. Okay, sin alpha um, given already negative 3 over 5. Okay, sin beta so. So, negative 2 over third 5. Okay, so kita boleh carilah dekat sini kan. Okay, so this one uh, 4 over 5 third 5 plus uh, 6 over set uh, over 5 set 5 ok so now 10 over 5 set 5 ok so then this one sama dengan 2 over set 5 ok kita kena compare kita kena compare dengan this one uh, from the question ni Alright. so m set 5 over 5 Ah, uh, Dia punya denominator is 5. Tapi kita punya ni set 5. So, kita kena uh, generalize kan. Eh? So, darab dengan. Darab dengan set 5. Tapi kalau you ada class with, you all boleh kira terus kan. Okay. So, then this one uh, dapat berapa? 2 set 5 over 5. Oh, compare dengan M set 5 over 5. Okay, so then we compare. Um, we, kita boleh identify lah M is 2. Okay, so therefore, so compare. So M equals to 2. Okay. Okay, question B. Uh, it is given that tangent theta minus 60 equals 81 and tangent theta equals to K. Find the value of K in set form. Okay, so from the question, tangent theta minus 60 equals to negative 1. So, by using the uh, addition formula of uh, tangent, kita dapat tangent theta minus tangent 60 over 1 plus eh, tangent theta tangent 60. Okay, equals to negative 1. Okay, tangent theta is K. Tangent 60, kita kena ingat uh, special angle. Kalau ni 60, ni 2, 1, set 3 kan? So, tangent 60 is set 3. Okay, so 1 plus K set 3 equals to negative 1. So, the rest kita just simplify lah. Negative 1, 1 tambah K set 3. So, ni K minus set 3, negative 1. Minus K set 3. Okay. So, dia nak uh, find the value of K. Jadi, kita kena group together K ni. So, dapat K plus K set 3 equals to set 3 minus 1. So, then K 1 plus set 3. Set 3 minus 1 dapatlah K. Eh? So, set 3 minus 1. 1 plus set 3. Okay, tetapi this one walaupun dia uh, set form, this one uh, dia tak simplest. So, kita kena uh, rationalize kan dia. So, dengan times the conjugate 1 minus set 3, 1 minus set 3. Okay, so kita boleh selesaikan lah yang ni kan. Okay, so this one become, uh, kita expand eh. So, set 3 minus set 3, set 3 minus 1 plus set 3 over. Uh, this one kita kena guna A minus B. A plus B equals to A squared minus B squared. 
So this one 1 squared minus 3 squared Okay So uh, 3 plus 3 So 2 So 3 uh, So ni 3 minus 1 eh? Bahagi dengan negative 2 <coughs> Okay So ni dapat 2 So 3 minus 4 over negative 2 ok so ni pun boleh simplify kan boleh simplify so dapat um, 2 set 3 over negative 2 so 4 over negative 2 so kita dapat lah uh, kita simplify kita dapat negative 4 bahagi negative 2 so 2 minus set 3 so this is the final answer Number 11, uh, the normal line to the curve y equals to ax squared plus b over x at point one five is parallel to the straight line x plus y minus 8 equals to 0. Okay, so find the value of a and of b. Uh, jadi nak cari a and b, two unknowns here. Mungkin kita kena guna simultaneous equation. So we need to create... Uh, two equation Barulah kita boleh guna simultaneous kan Okay So start from y Equals to ax squared plus b over x eh? Okay So given point 0.15 ni xy lah So then kita boleh substitute into the equation Y is 5 uh, A tak tahu X is 1 squared plus b over uh, 1 Okay, so kita dapatlah dekat sini the first equation A plus B equals to 5. Okay, dapat satu equation. Okay, so then the next equation. Uh, dia kata normal. Normal parallel. Okay, parallel maksudnya same gradient. Okay, here we got uh, X plus Y minus 8 equals to 0. So, kita convert into Y equals MX plus C. So, y equals to negative x plus 8. Okay, so gradient ni normal eh. Gradient of normal equals to negative 1 lah. Okay, so we have gradient of tangent times gradient of normal equals to negative, now, negative 1. So, gradient of normal itself is negative 1. So, dapatlah gradient of tangent. Sorry, gradient of normal negative 1 eh. So, negative 1, negative 1. So, gradient of tangent equals to uh, 1 Okay Tapi kita tahu gradient of tangent Is nama lain dia lah dy dx uh, eh? So dy dx So kita boleh cari lah dy dx Okay So uh, the dy dx uh, from equation tadi Y equals to ax squared plus bx Kita kena move up eh Power of negative 1 Barulah kita boleh differentiate Y with respect to x Become to ax Minus uh, Bx power of negative 2 Okay, ni kita punya dy dx Just now Dekat point 1.5 tadi Okay, dekat point 1.5 tadi Dia punya gradient dia uh, Ni kan Is 1 uh, Gradient of tangent is 1 So, sama dengan 1 Bila x dia Masukkan jugalah 1 eh so, 2A1 minus B over 1 squared equals to 1. So, we got 2A minus B equals to 1. Okay, so now this is equation number 2. Okay, just now tadi ni kan. So, kita boleh uh, solve simultaneously. Eh? So, mungkin kita boleh add eh, 1, equation 1 plus equation 2. So, A plus 2A is 3A. Okay, negative, uh, B plus negative B, 0. So, 5 plus 1 is uh, 6. Okay, so kita bolehlah uh, cari A. Okay, so A equals to 2. So, into katakanlah 2. So, 2 times 2 minus B equals to 1. So, B dapatlah. B equals to 3. Eh? So, then A to B3. So, dapat dua-dua value of A and of B.
Okay, number 12a, the variables f and g are related by the equation 1 over f plus 1 over j equals to 1 over 15. Given g increases at the rate of 1.2 cm per second, find the rate of change of f in cm per second when g equals to 20. Okay, so um, from the question, it bagi g increase at rate. So dg dt equals to 1 over 2. So, find rate of change of F. So, DF, DT. Dia so cari. Okay. okay. So, uh, so ni uh, rate of change. So, kita kena guna chain rule lah. So, kita kena create dulu chain rule tu. Supaya kita tahu kita nak buat apa lepas ni. So, DF, DT is DF tak tahu eh. So, times tak tahu DT. Okay. So, from the given information, we have DG. Uh, so, ni mesti DG lah. Uh, eh, ni dah tahu. So, now we need to find DF, DG. Nak cari DF, DG. Kena ada F in terms of G. So, kita kena ada F in terms of G. So, from the equation 1 over F plus 1 over G equals to 1 over 15. Kita kena jadikan F as subject. Eh? So, then kita equate the denominator FG. So, ni G plus F equals to 1 over 15. Cross multiplication, so 15G plus 15F equals to FG. So, groupkan together F ni. Sebab kita nak F subject. So, FG minus uh, 15F equals to 15G. Okay, ni boleh factorize F. So, G minus 15 equals to 15G. So, dapatlah F. 15G over G minus 15. Uh, okay. So, uh, dah dapat F in terms of G. Okay. So, kita boleh differentiate. Tapi, bila nak differentiate, this one is fraction. So, maybe kita kena guna quotient rule. Eh? Kita kena guna quotient rule. Okay. So, ni U, ni V. Eh? So, U equals to 15G. D, U, D, G is... 15. So, V equals to G minus 15. DV, DG is 1. Eh? So, formula for quotient rule. Uh, v, U prime kan? Minus U, V prime over V square. Eh, ni. So, uh, V, U prime minus U, V prime over V square. Eh? So, D, kita ada uh, DF, DG equals to 15 times G minus 15 minus 15G times 1 divided by V squared. So, G minus 15 squared. Okay. So, from the question, dia bagi G is 12. Eh, sorry, 20. 20, 20. So, kita tak payah nak simplify. We just substitute 20 into G. So, 15, 20 minus 15 minus 15, 20. Satu, satu lah eh. So, sama. So, 20 minus 15 squared. Okay. So, ni kita simplify. Kita boleh dapat negative 2 to 5 over 25 is negative 9. Okay. So, tadi kita ada chain rule. Ingat tak yang memula tadi? So, kita ada DF. DT equals to DF. DG times DG DT. Okay. So then we substitute DF DG is negative 9. DG DT is 1.2. So the answer is negative 10.8. B. Diagram 6 shows part of the curve y equals to 1 minus x squared. B. Roman 1. Find the first derivative of y with respect to x okay so b1 okay then not first derivative now we have y equals to 1 minus x squared so first derivative meaning that dy dx lah eh uh, first derivative so dy dx negative 2x okay so then hence um uh, roman 2 uh, calculate the approximate value uh, eh uh, of Q in terms of P and K. Okay, approximate value of Q. Q ni Y lah kan. Eh, so, nilai akhir. Nilai akhir bagi 
uh, function ni. Okay, so kalau value, okay, so Q uh, Y plus delta Y, eh? approximate value Y plus delta Y. So, kita kena cari dulu delta Y. Okay, here we got relation delta Y, delta X, approximate to dy dx. So, delta Y equals to dy dx times delta X. Okay, so delta X apa? Delta X is uh, perubahan kecil bagi X kan? So, X change. Ni X eh, change from P to P plus K. So, kita dapatlah ni delta X dia is... Uh, P plus K minus P. Uh, final value minus initial value. <coughs> okay, equals to K. Okay, so uh, kita dap boleh dapatlah kita substitute delta X into re uh, equation tadi ni. Okay, so then dy dx just now kita dah ada negative 2X times delta X tadi is K. Ha, eh. Tapi X apa? Hmm. X is uh, coordinate of X. Yang initial. Ha, yang initial ialah P. Eh. So, kita dapatlah negatif 2P K. Okay, this is delta Y. Okay, tadi kita ada uh, Q is Y plus delta Y. So, kita kena carilah uh, Y pula. So, Y substitute. Okay, 1 minus X tadi, uh, coordinate X is uh, K kan? Eh, sorry, is P. Uh, P. So, 1 minus P squared. So, therefore, uh, Q Y plus delta Y tadi is 1 minus P squared plus negative. So, minus 2P K. So, ni lah. Kita punya Q in terms of P and K. 13. Table 1 shows the monthly rental schedule of a house. Uh, Risky rents the house with monthly rental of RM660 on 1st January 2021. The house owner will increase his monthly rental on a regular basis every 2 years. A. Determine whether the monthly rental form an arithmetic progression or geometric progression. Verify your answer with calculation. Okay, so now from the table given, uh, kita boleh tengoklah this one is T1, T2, T3, T4. Okay, so kita kena test. Okay, uh, kita cuba dulu D. Okay, so kalau D... Nak cari common difference. So, okay, T2 minus T1. So, 7, 1, 0 minus 6, 6, 0. Okay. We will get 50. Kalau uh, 760 minus 710. So, 50 as well. Uh, so, sama kan dia punya common difference. So, then this is uh, arithmetic progression. Okay, kena tulis dengan betul eh. So, arithmetic progression. Okay, with D equals to 50. B, when will the monthly rental exceed to uh, 1,250 for the first time? Okay, when? When bila eh? So, maksudnya dia nak, nak guna TN lah bila. So, TN... Exit more than 1350. Okay, for AP, TN is A plus N minus 1D. So, yang ni A, A is 660 plus N minus 1D dia 50. More than 1350. Okay, so nanti kita dapatlah N minus 1 times 50, 690. So, dapat N more than... Mm, 14.8 Okay And ni number of term Okay number of term So dapatlah N equals to 15 Okay term yang ke 15 So ingat ni Satu term ni 2 tahun ni Period dia 2 tahun sekali ha, Okay So uh, term yang pertama Bermula pada January 2021 So yang sebelum tu Ialah 2020 
Okay, 20, 20, sorry, 20, 20. Okay, so N kalau ada 15 terms, maksudnya ada 30 tahun. So, 20, 20 uh, tambah 30 akan dapat 20, 50. Okay, 20, 50 ni yang berlaku, uh, terms yang ke-15 eh. Terms yang ke-15. Tapi ingat ni, terms yang ke-15 bermula pada tahun uh, 2049. Ha, eh, term, terms yang ke-15 ialah 2049 hingga 2050 ha, eh. So kita kena ni lah So then dia punya uh, monthly rental exit 1350 ni ialah pada bulan Januari 2049 Okay, see calculate the total rental paid to the house owner for the year 2028 to 2056. Okay, so uh, sekarang kita nak total rental. So, kita kena cari uh, the new terms lah untuk setiap ta untuk setiap tahun ni kan. Okay, so sekarang T1, this one eh, uh, untuk this one. So, ada 660 times 24 months. Okay, equals to... 15840 Okay, T2 is uh, 710 times 24 months sama Which is equals to 17040 Okay, so kita dah boleh cari dia punya D yang The new one eh Okay, so D is uh, 17040 minus 15840 So equals to 1200. Okey. So untuk fahamkan yang ni kita kena a uh, dia nak daripada 2028 sampai 2056. Okey. So kita kena fahamkan dia punya a uh, uh, monthly rental rate ni. Okey, start 2021 eh. So 2021 sampai a uh, 2056. Okey, dekat sini ada 36 Yes, Okay, 36 years tapi number of term ialah separuh eh. So, divide by 2 which is equals to 18 years. Eh, sebab satu term 2 tahun. Sebab tu 36 tahun uh, bahagi 2 dapat 18, uh, sorry 18 terms. Uh, 18 terms. Okay, so 18 terms uh, dia nak daripada 2028. Tapi 2028 separuh je daripada term yang keempat. So, kita kena kira asing. Ha, eh. So, payment. Payment. 2028. Ialah uh, 810 times 12 equals to uh, 9720. Ha, eh. Ini untuk 2028. So, dia nak uh, 2028 dah kira. So, Terus je lah kita boleh kira terms yang kelima sampai terms yang ke-18. Eh? So, so uh, kita kira S18 minus S4. Eh? S18 tadi ada 18 terms kan? Uh, tolak ni, tolak ni, tolak ni, tolak ni. Uh, eh? So, dapatlah kat situ. Okay. So, then uh, by using formula of SN for arithmetic progression ni ialah... 18 over 2, 2A. A dia tadi ialah this one eh. Uh, 15840. Okay, plus 17D, 1200. Okay, tolak dengan 1, uh, sorry, 4 over 2, 215840 plus 31200. Ah okey yang ni kita akan dapat 398160. Ni daripada tahun 2000 uh, a 2029 sampai 2056. Uh, tapi dia nak daripada uh, 2028 tu 2056 kan so kita kena tambah a uh, this one kena add tadi yang kita dapat tadi. Uh, mana? Uh, this one eh. Okey so therefore Total payment is 398160 plus 9720. Eh? So, akan dapat.
five. Oh, sorry. Four zero seven eight eight zero. Now number 14, diagram 7 shows the curve x equals to y cube intersecting the curve x equals to y squared at the point O and B. Okay, A, find the coordinates of point B. Now we can see from the diagram, B is intersection point uh, of two curves. So to find the intersection point, we can use simultaneous equation. So now we have equation 1 and equation 2. So we saw simultaneously lah. So, 1 equals to 2. Okay, so then y cube equals to y squared. So, y cube minus y squared equals to 0. Uh, ni jangan jangan cancel off eh. Uh, kalau cancel off, tak dapat markah ni. So, we need to factorize. Okay, so y squared, y minus 1 equals to 0. So, ni y 0 and y equals to 1. Okay, so y0 bukanlah. Kalau 0, yang this one kan. So, y equals to 1. Okay, dia nak coordinate. So, coordinate ada x and y. So, substitute into any equation. So, kita dapat x equals to 1. Okay, so then point B is 1, 1. Okay, question A Roman 2. Find the area of the shaded region. Okay, to find area of shaded region, we have... Uh, we have to the formula we have two formula okay so the first one is uh, uh, area equals to a b y d x and another one area equals to a b x d y so kita nak choose yang mana satu kita boleh choose mana-mana tapi yang senang yang mana okay so if you choose the first one nanti all kena jadikan y subject Bila awak jadikan Y subject, nanti akan ada power of half, power of 1 over 3. Ha, eh? So, kita kena guna lebih lebih senang kalau kita guna the second formula. Okay, for the second formula, kita guna second formula. Eh? So, if dy, meaning that A and B are values of Y. Okay, so nak cari area. Okay, okay so kita kena tengok dulu kat sini lah. Eh? Um, this one. About Y. Uh, so, ni dia punya lower limit is 0. Upper limit just now kita tahu point B is 1, 1 eh. So, ni 1, ni 1. Okay. So, then uh, the shaded region is the this area. Uh, semua. Okay. So, A dia lower boundary is 0. Upper boundary, upper limit is 1. Okay. So, that curve is x equals to y squared. Uh, so, y squared lah. dx minus yang another one. Eh? Yang this curve. Uh, okay. So, then minus sama lower limit 0 upper limit 1 tapi dia punya x is uh, y cube. Okay, y cube dx. Okay. So, then kita integrate lah. Okay, so then we integrate, we will get uh, y cube over 3, okay, minus integrate y4 over 4, hmm, okay, so then we substitute the upper limit, so become y cube over 3 minus 0, 0 pun kena tunjuk eh, uh, walaupun tahu dia 0 tapi kita kena tunjuk. Y4, so 1 power of 4 over 4, minus 0 power of 4 over 4. Okay, ni better kita letak bracket lah eh. Okay, so this one is uh, 1 over 1 over 3 minus 1 over 4 eh. So the answer is 1 over 12. B. Calculate the volume generated in terms of pi when the region bounded by the curve x equals to y squared. The straight line y equals negative x plus 2 and the y-axis is revolved through 360 degree about y-axis. Okay, so now we need to find the region dulu. Uh, we have curve ada. 
Okay, the straight line y equals to negative x plus 2, we need to draw first, okay. So, uh, y equals to mx plus c, eh? so the gradient is negative 1 and the intercept, y intercept is 2. Okay, so kita boleh cari lah eh, uh, y equals to negative x plus 2. So, y intercept is 2 when x equals to 0, y equals to 2 when y equals to 0, x equals to 2. Uh, jadi, tadi B dia 1, 1. So, the straight line passes through B. Eh? Okay, uh, macam ni lah lebih kurang. Okay, so point this is the point. Uh, this is 2. This one is 2 as well. Uh, eh? So, 2 straight line dia. Okay, so now we need to find the... Region bounded by the curve x equals to y squared. So, this one, the straight line, this one, okay, and the y-axis, ni ha. Uh, so, the region dia, this one lah, uh, nak cari ni. Bila this region um, revolve through, uh, through 360 degree about y-axis. Jadi, untuk cari ni, kita kena pecahkan. Sebab kita ada line and curve. Okay, this one 1, this one 0 eh. Okay, the first one is actually the combination, volume, combination, um, cone. Uh, cone 1 over 3 pi r squared h plus uh, formula for volume. So, a, b rotated about y axis. So, x squared d. Uh, y hmm. Okay So for volume Okay for volume The uh, Height is 1 Okay the radius Is 1 as well eh? So kita masukkan lah 1 over 3 pi 1 squared 1 Plus pi Okay for the um, This area Sorry this Volume ni, the lower limit is 0, upper limit is 1. X is Y squared. So, X equals to Y squared. Dia nak X squared. So, Y, power of 4 lah kan. Squared squared is power of 4D, Y. Okay. So, the rest kita just uh, uh, cari je lah. So, 1 over 3 pi plus pi this one, integrate. We will get uh, y power of 5 over 5. Okay, so 1 over 3 pi plus pi. So, sorry, the limit is 0, 1. Okay, so 1 power of 5 over 5. Ingat eh, walaupun 0, tetap kena tulis. Uh, eh, kalau tak, terdapat markah. Okay, so 0 power of 5 over 5. Sebab tu konsep kan. Okay, so now 1 over 3 pi plus 1 over 5 pi okay so the answer is 8 over uh, 15 pi the last question question number 15 solution by skill drawing is not accepted diagram 8 shows a rectangular wall surface pqsv anas wanted to make a point a so that the wall uh, the wall fan could be installed at the position accurately the switch of the fan is located at point R. He had made measurements using two straight strings, PT and QU. Okay, use R as the origin. A state the coordinates of point A. Okay, so R origin, so kita kena letak dia punya axis dulu lah. So, this one is Y axis. And this is X. Okay. Okay, so now given uh, 4 meter, this one 1 meter. Uh, okay, so point A at left of uh, X, so the negative lah. So 4 tolak 1, so negative 3. Okay, so this one given 0 0.5 ni sama. So uh, this one, the coordinate Y is 0 0.5 eh. So coordinate A. Negative 3, 0 
Okay, B, find the distance in meter of VU and of UT so that the two straight strings intersect at point A. Hence, take the ratio of VU is to UT. Okay, so before we find the distance of VU and UT, we have to identify all the uh, points on the Cartesian plane yang lain, eh, yang ada information. Okay, now given 3 meter, 4 meter. So, kita boleh cari Q. This one 0 0.5, 0 0.5, eh. So, Q ni is 0, negative 2. Kan? Okay, sebab yang ni 3 kan? So, ni 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Balance dia 2. Okay, so then this is 4 meter. So, P, uh, 4 meter at the left of O. So, negative 4, negative 2. Sama, eh. Okay, V, negative 4. Uh, this one, oh sorry. This one, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So, 1. Okay. So, apa lagi? B. Okay. B is negative 1, 0. Okay. So, then to find coordinate of U, uh, we need to find the equation of straight line uh, QAU. So, equation QAU. Okay. Find the gradient first. Y2 minus Y1, so 0 0.5 minus minus plus 2 over negative 3 minus 0. So, negative 5 over 6. Okay, so equation of straight line, Y equals to MX plus C. So, Y equals to negative 5 over 6X minus 2. Sebab dah tahu dia punya uh, Y intercept. Okay, so U. U is X tak tahu. Y is 1. So, we substitute 1 here. So, negative 5 over 6X minus 2. So, kita dapat X equals to negative 3.6. Hmm, okay. So, then boleh carilah UV. Eh? Ataupun VU. Ni eh. VU. Okay, kita boleh cari. So, uh, jarak dia tadi, negative uh, 4 minus negative 3.6. Ada modulus eh, sebab the distance always positive. So, 0.4. Okay, same. Kita nak cari titik U. Kita kena ada, uh, kena tahulah, kena cari uh, equation of straight line. P, A, T. Okay, so equation P, A, T. Sama lah. Y equals M, X plus C. So, kena cari gradient. Okay, gradient dia 0 0.5 minus minus. So, plus 2 over negative 3 plus 4. Okay, eh? Negative 3 plus 4. Okay, so this one equals to 2.5. Okay, so equation of straight line. Y equals to mx plus c. 2.5x plus c. C tak tahu. So, kita boleh uh, substitute any points. Let's say uh, I want to substitute point P. So, Y is negative 2. So, 2.5x is negative 4 plus c. So, c is 8. Okay. So, equation dia y equals to 2.5x plus 8. Okay. Coordinate. <coughs> coordinate um, t eh. Coordinate t. Same. Kita tak tahu x. But y is 1. Okay. So, uh, 1 equals to 2.5x plus 8 Ok, so nanti kita dapatlah x equals to negative 14 over 5 Ok, negative 14 over 5 So, negative 14 over 5 berapa? 14 over 5 uh, 2.8 eh, Negative 2.8 Okay, so then uh, distance, distance UT tadi eh, tadi U is, uh, sorry, um, T eh, T is negative 2.8, uh, 
1 u yang ni negatif 3.61 ok so distance ut equals to negative 3.6 minus negative 2.8 uh, eh, modulus kan so dapat uh, 0.8 ok so tadi dia kata hence take the ratio of vu is to ut so vu VU is to UT. Okay. VU tadi 0.4. UT 0.8. So, 4 is to 8. Ataupun uh, 1 is to 2. Okay. Itu ratio dia. Okay. C. Anas want to hang a picture frame at point B as the diagram. He used a straight string B. PB to make the measurements. Show that the straight strings is not perpendicular to the straight string QU. Okay, perpendicular eh. So, kita kena tengok lah. M1, M2 dia equals 91 ke tidak. Okay, first of all, cari gradient PB. Okay, so here we got P and B eh. So, uh, dia punya gradient is uh, 0 minus Minus so plus 2 over negative 1 plus 4 equals to 2 over 3. Okay, kemudian gradient QU. Tadi kita dah dapat daripada atas ni negative 5 over 6. Okay, so then kita darablah M1 MPB times MQU equals to 2 over 3 times negative 5 over 6. So, this one kita dapat negative 5 over 9. Negative 5 over 9 is not equals to negative 1. So, therefore, not perpendicular. Hmm. Okay. 